Hello everyone, it's me Juan, and here you are, a new presentation which we're going to make the most of it. Let's talk about getting dressed. We're going to pick up, getting dressed, dress down, dress up, dress up something, and dress someone down. Here we go, let's get started. Lots of people in America love Fridays because it's a chance to dress down even at work. To dress down means that you do not have to wear the typical business suit or dress for office. You can not wear blue jeans and a t-shirt, but you can just wear slacks, dress pants, and a regular button-down shirt. Of course, Monday through Thursday, you need to dress up, but on Fridays, you can dress down. Since I work at home, I can dress down every day. Actually, the only day I dress up is when I go to church. When I leave the house, though, I dress up a little. Not the suit, but a nice pair of pants and a nice shirt. Did you know that you can also dress up a resume? You could dress up anything. Actually, to dress up can also mean to make something look nice or pretty. Below, the resume on the left is boring, but the resume on the right is much better. It's dressed up. I dress up my presentations to you with different colors and pictures. Here you are the boring resume and the much better resume which is already dressed up. And when I was in the army, I saw an entire group of soldiers get dressed down for running inside during national anthem. Yes, to dress someone down means to yell at someone. In the military, when the national anthem is played, soldiers must stand at attention and salute the US flag. Don't worry, though, this usage of dress down is not common. A quick recap, getting dressed, dressed down, dressed up, dressed up something, and dressed someone down. Hope you've enjoyed picking up some more English, as I always say. It's me, Juan, from Ecuador. God bless, take care, bye-bye.